Suela Braverman is planning to put a ban on Albanian migration, but will Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt, especially Jeremy Hunt, who's actually calling the shots, allow her to do this? Back to square one. Back to square one means that we're going to have Suela Braverman as Home Secretary announcing something and she gets blocked by Downing Street. She also gets blocked by the left-wing lawyers and all the other human rights groups. The cycle continues, but this is actually about what could really happen because the conversation is now moving towards talking about the UN Refugee Convention and of course ECHR and everything else around that. This could be the beginning of the upset because if, let's just say, well, when the Home Office fails to do anything, this could actually pave the way for Reform UK and Richard Tice and Nigel Farage for the next election to learn from all these lessons and know exactly what to put in their manifesto that works. This is going to be completely backfiring on the Tories. The Tories, such as Jeremy Hunt, who's already taken some of the powers away from Suella Braverman. That happened obviously a month ago, a couple of months ago. No one really talked about this. So even now, Suella doesn't have full powers thanks to this man who's supposed to be simply a chancellor. But no, the Albania situation is getting really weird because they're still protesting. You know, they, they carry their, they fly their flags in, in the middle of London and say, I'm proud to be Albanian. Yet, you said you don't like that country, you want to be saved by Britain. It's a very confusing situation, <laughs> a weird situation. But the government is expected to use a second partial and designation list, which declares certain countries safe for women, but not women and children. Now, these countries also include Ghana, Nigeria, Gambia, Kenya, and many others. This could be an interesting loophole at least as a short-term plaster, so that uh, Suella could say, well, if I can't ban the Albanian so-called refugees, then what we can do is say, well, partial designation list means you can come here, but you have to be a woman or a child. Or a child. But then that loophole could get destroyed within five minutes because uh, men could just self-identify as women. <laughs> they could do that. I, I guess that's how it works these days. Well, we don't know. The UN Refugee Agency, oh God, they are clashing massively with Swella. They've said the only way to establish whether people are refugees is through a fair and efficient determination of their claims. So you say just let them come in. You can apply for asylum outside the country, but of course it's not going to happen, not in this country, because they're all going to get on boats and get here. It's not our responsibility as an island to get um, asylum seekers, refugees from all over the world all the time. At times, of course. But we've been too generous for too long and it's time to stop that nonsense. Speaking of nonsense, let's take a quick break. We're going to come back in half an hour. We're going to tell you about uh, Mark Drakeford's Welsh Assembly who are giving away free tampons. To men. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.